as our nonviolence was the nonviolence of the weak, the leaven did not spread. Had we adopted nonviolence as the weapon of the strong, because we've realized that it was more effective than any other weapon, in fact, the mightiest force in the world, we would have made use of its full potency and not have discarded it as soon as the fight against the British was over. Gandhi from Pyaralal, The Last Phase, Volume 2. Yeah, there are two fundamental distinctions in what people can mean by the term nonviolence, and they kind of overlap. One is a distinction between a positive nonviolence and negative non-violence. And the other, which Gandhi alludes to here, is the distinction between the nonviolence of the strong, where you adopt nonviolence on principle because you believe in it, because you have a lively sense of the unity of life, which includes even a unity with your opponents, versus just picking it up as a tactic and using it in a particular situation and then dropping it, which is what happened in India. But even that can often serve as a step towards the nonviolence of the strong, towards positive peace, because you try it out, and in some cases, uh, I, we know of people who have tried it out just as an experiment, recognized its potency, and learned to adopt it as a principle. 